Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to tie the Thunder Beetle. It's a pattern that I made up and it works excellent for all sorts of panfish. It uses very little materials and it works great. To start off, you're going to tie it on a size 6 Mustad Octopus hook. You're going to use some 6 aught uni thread in olive color, some deer hair body, and some olive crystal chenille. To start off, you're going to wrap your thread from the eye of your hook and you're going to wrap it down your hook shank pretty far. Um, you know, it's, it's better to wrap it down farther than to uh, wrap it shorter. So, wrap it about a millimeter past where your um, hook begins to turn. And, uh, you know, if you don't really know where to stop, farther, stopping farther down the hook shank is better than stopping shorter. So don't worry about that too much. Just after you trim off your tag end, secure it with a few more tight wraps and then you can begin tying in your materials. Start off by tying in some deer hair. I like to stack mine in my hair stacker but if you don't have a hair stacker that's fine you can just try to tie it in as evenly as possible. So stack your hair in your deer hair stacker and then you can just remove it. Um, a good amount of deer hair to choose is uh, about the same size as your pinky's fingernail. As long as you have something around that you're fine. So you're going to begin by tying in your deer hair right at the end of your fly. Try to tie it in as tight as possible. You don't want any slipping on this. So tie that in nice and tight. Take your time. Alright, after you tie in your deer hair, your next step is going to be tying in your crystal chenille. You don't need a whole lot of this, just about an inch will do. Um, I like to trim off about an inch and a half just so you have a little more room to work with. You're then going to tie that in right where you did your last, your last wrap of thread where your deer hair meets your body. So tie that in pretty close. Secure that down nice and tightly. And then you're going to wrap your thread all the way up to the eye of the hook. Your next step is going to be wrapping this material, your chenille, all the way up the body. And you're going to do it one after another. Make sure you do not overlap this because it will make your body too thick. After you get to the eye of the hook, secure that with a couple nice tight wraps. And then you can trim off the tag end. Grab all of your deer hair and draw it forward. You're going to wrap that nice and tight, the eye of the hook, and it should begin to flare out. After it flares out, you're going to fold it back again, and then you're just going to build a mound of thread in front of it to help make sure that this stands up, and this is going to act as your wing. This is also the final step on your fly, aside from tying in your whip finish. So after you complete that step, you can whip finish it, do some half hitches, or whatever your favorite type of uh, finish is on the fly. You can also add some head cement to the body of the deer hair to help add it, uh, to help add some strength to the fly, and uh, to make it more shell-like to replicate a beetle. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this fly tying video. If you have any questions or concerns, please put a comment in the comment box below or feel free to send me an inbox message. Have a good day fishing and hope this catches you some nice fish.